All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Princess Connect Redive video. And today I'm taking a look at three star Halloween Masaki. I originally was going to be doing a showcase on Halloween Masaki when she came out when I first pulled her. Unfortunately, I did not have the right materials ready to go, so I could not get her up basically, and I could not do a showcase on her. But here we are now, and I've heard a lot of people actually downplaying Masaki. And I heard a lot of people actually saying Halloween Masaki isn't that good. And I feel like they're just straight up wrong. I mean, if you think Halloween Masaki is bad, like you think she sucks, you're wrong. Uh, this girl is absolutely crazy, and we're going to show you why here in a second. One of the cool things about Halloween Masaki is that she actually does work very, very well at um three stars what i mean by three stars is that you don't need this character to be four stars or even five stars in order for her to actually work um there's a lot of characters out there like tomo for example who three star tomo just does not work really at all four star tomo is where you want to have her and five star tomo is obviously even better other examples would be Ilya. three star Ilya straight up just sucks uh, and especially in like any other game mode if you you can't really use it competitively in in uh battle arena you can't use three star Ilya in clan battle because she kills herself so there's different characters where they have these kind of star levels where they're good at, right? But Holly Masaki, she, you pull her and you instantly can use her because her three star is where she really shines. Uh, as you can see, her defenses are very nice. 190 magic defense. Uh, keep in mind, I don't have any of her equips on at the moment. She gets magic defense from this right here, the boots, and then she gets magic defense from the pendant right here as well as physical defense. So in total, I think her defenses will jump up to somewhere around 122 physical and about 201 magic or so. Um, so she is going to be a backline magical character. And the reason why this character is so good and the reason why you don't need to have her at any really high star level is because her skills. Now her skills, what she does is she's going to be almost a strictly support character. So she's going to be supporting. She doesn't do much damage. So her having higher damage as in having higher star levels because the higher the star levels is the more damage you do, right? Um, so her not being able to do much damage, I mean, all of her abilities hit kind of weak. She's strictly a support slash utility unit. And I think that's actually what's really, really cool about this Halloween Misaki. Um, so let's just take a look, for example, we'll just take a look at her union burst. Uh, it's going to be the Deadly Pumpkin Party. This is going to be a utility, utility ability. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys. There's literally a paragraph right here of all the stuff it does. Look at that. Look at all the stuff it does. So yeah, so this ability is very, very good. Lowering magic defense, cursing, binding, just does a ton of stuff. Uh, next, we have the Ladies Charm ability, which does charm to the direct enemy in front and does a little bit of magic damage. It actually does more magic damage than the ultimate does on a skill. Obviously, this is an AoE, though. Um, so this is a very good. Inflicting charm is nice. All it does really is it's kind of like it's basically IO's ability. The enemy turns around, they just start attacking the other enemies. Um, if this is a well-placed timing, you could have the charm and have them turn around and the enemies not be able to use their union burst. For example, if it's like a tank like June uh, and the enemies turn around and as they're getting stalled basically by being charmed, you can come through and you can kill them really quick before they're able to pop their union burst. So this could be a very good ability, uh, a very nice skill, honestly. And then she has her Halloween hype ability, which I found to be funny, a funny name, Halloween hype. Um, and then she boosts magic attack of all allies in range by 1243. So a very strong ability overall. Um, very strong all-around support kit. Uh, as you can tell, this character is not meant to be doing any damage whatsoever, so having her at 11-4 really does not matter um, because you're not really doing big damage with her. These, I think, are going to be important, though, because getting the extra physical defense might be useful. Um, other than that, though, I feel like having her at this rank 11, just being rank 11 is fine. So, yeah, that's all around what Halloween Masaki does. Let's go ahead and take her into some modes and see how well she performs. All right, first up, I'm going to be using the Halloween Masaki team basically here into the EX dungeon mode against the boss, the Chimera boss. Uh, so this squad will be very, very fun to play with. I always love bringing a magic team to use against this boss because the magic team just straight up melts this guy. So we'll be seeing how this basically affects the teammates. Uh, her going to be giving a magic attack buff to all allies in range, which basically will be upgrading the backline characters, Kilka, Summer Carol. So we're going to be doing all of our damage. So buffing them up. Uh, the binding and the purse here won't actually apply uh, because we are not going to be in a mode where this boss can be binded or cursed. Um, I think well, I think he can be cursed, but I don't think he can be binded, so this really won't count here. 
Uh, the charm ability, I don't think this works on the boss. I think he's immune to charm. So this will kind of just be extra damage. So let's go ahead and jump into it and then see how well she does. All right, I'm going to put this into auto mode and just kind of let it run. Uh, at the current moment, you'll see that I'm actually going to put it into double mode here so we don't get too far fast. I just want to make sure we can get her ultimate up. So that little yellow barrier that she does right there, that is going to be her um, attack up to all allies. And basically all that does is it allows your allies to do more damage. Here is her ability, of course. It did miss, uh, did, what is that, 5,000 damage or something like that. So obviously not doing the craziest amounts of damage, but I feel like it did well more than enough to say, hey, it's a pretty good ability. Uh, there is her yellow, that yellow little circle that you see spawn around the allies. That's going to be the magic attack up ability. Uh, I think we're going to get hit with the Union Burst here from the boss uh, any second now. And I think our Carol's dead, which is fine. Um, Alright, so there we go. Uh, we pretty much ran the clock out. Masaki did very, very well. She missed on that ability. I don't know if this boss can be cursed, though. I feel like he can't be. Uh, anyways, she did pretty good. Uh, I... Honestly, was pretty impressed with the performance there, buffing up our allies and all that stuff. She did 94,000 damage, which is really good. So if I had maybe here at 11.4, she'd probably be doing somewhere around 102,000-ish, a little bit higher maybe. Um, but that team alone, man, uh, that magic team against the EX Dungeon boss, we took almost a million off of his health. So very nice from Masaki, doing a very good supporting job. Okay, so we're here against the 16-2 hard mode. I just went against some random stage. Um, I want to see how... Uh, she performs here when she's doing her little binding ability and cursing because I think these little smaller enemies can be cursed. Um, as you can see there, that was actually the charm ability. I don't know if you guys noticed it. Um, I want to see if we can pop the charm ability. It should be able to come up here. Uh, so there's the charm right there. As you can see, the enemy kind of turned around and it focused the other enemy. Uh, so that was actually super useful because now we can kind of just sit back and let the enemies attack each other as we watch them beat each other up, which is kind of funny. Um, okay, so here we go. We're going to jump into this part right here. Uh, I'm going to wait for the Halloween hype to go off. And let's pop the other abilities. Aqua Bullet, Ladies Charm. So there we go. The enemy is now charmed. Let's go, Halloween Masaki. Pop her Union Burst. And let's see what happens. So there's the Bind ability. As you can see, the little green ability around them. Uh, so they don't get binded for very long. That's a, a very short amount of time that they actually get binded for. Um, that's about a grand total of like not even a second to two seconds so it's not a very long duration of binding but doing that on top of cursing and even the bind it's still a stall for a second or two which can give your team time to launch out that last finishing blow so I don't know man I feel like this is definitely a very good ability and a very very underrated character so far in my opinion I feel like this character is super underrated all right, we should be able to see Masaki do another Union Burst coming up here really quickly. Here it is. View. And there's the Bind ability. And then they also have Curse on them as well. You can see it's ticking for 395, the little yellow damage. Uh, it's going to be ticking for 395 there. Um, okay, so we're going to eat a big, big chunk of damage there. But getting the the, the little charm out of them actually had the, the character turn around. The Mifuyu turned around there, so she actually could not damage us. Uh, we're getting in range of this guy's attack now, but it does not matter. We're going to just heal it all off. And there we go. Um, so, yeah, she did really well there. Um, giving the team just a ton of utility and support on top of that. She did pretty good. Yeah, look at that. 133k damage from a support slash utility character. I mean, I'll take that, man. She's, she's performing insanely well. All right, so we're here against some battle arena here. I'm actually going to bring in Nozomi here. Now, honestly, having a character like Ruka here would have actually been much better because Ruka can taunt off of a skill instead of it being a burst. Uh, so her countering Tamaki would have been nice here. But I just want to see how well our girl Hami Misaki is going to do. Uh, she's going to be charming the enemies in the front, so it's going to make like the Miyako turn around and stuff. We can. Oh, yeah, she just gets destroyed there. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, Miyako. Um, and then Nozomi's already pretty much at half health, and she's going to blast them out of here. Perfect. So this is a very fast way to destroy this team. Um, we, Even though we took a lot of damage there, I think, uh, yeah, our Kyoka is still alive, and which means game over. So there we go. Um, her charming, I think the charm was insane there. Uh, she's also doing a charm once again here. Um who, I mean, we're going to see the bind ability here. Here comes the bind. 
There we go. And it's also got the bind and the curse, which gave us extra time. Look at you see how many times they got stunned? Beautiful. And just like that, that is going to be a stall comp, a, a Tamaki stall comp, defeated just like that with a magical team. Who would have thought a magical team came through and just destroyed this? Combine Nozomi's little frontline stun with the Halloween Masaki charm, with her binding, with her lowering defense, with her buffing up the whole squad. It just it flows nicely man she's such a great utility character okay so that's pretty much gonna wrap up our three star halloween masaki showcase i have been royally impressed with the amount of pure utility and support this girl provides she also does really good damage too for a support utility character she does great damage so i've been very impressed uh in terms of power to rate her out of 10 as a three star i'd probably give her like an 8.5 out of 10 as a, as a three star character she just does an amazing job all around great character so if you got this character and you have her with the magic team, if you can run Summer Carol and then June and then other characters like Akari and um, Masoto and Kyoka and all that stuff, and Ilya maybe even, she'll do amazing as a support character. So there we go. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out. I'll see you guys all in the next one.